Hello, and yes, before you even say anything, I know what you are all thinking. I do not look like a person who's going to put a glitter lip kit on my lips. <laughs> it is snowy out and I have been snowed in, so I don't really have anywhere to go, hence the hair in a bun, comfy sweater, and I just want to try this product out. It looks super, super cool, popped up on my Instagram. And I am going to probably, if it works out, use it in the future going out and doing actual real life things. But today, I'm going to be a bum and just not really do anything with my life having hopefully really bomb looking lips. So the rest of me is going to look really basic and my lips are going to look hopefully really cool. <laughs> so like I said, this popped up on my Instagram and I'll just insert a clip right here about what it looked like. But this girl looks awesome. I want to be her. She is killing it. Her lips look amazing. And I saw that and was like, yes, I need this. So I went on to their actual Instagram page and noticed that it was only $18 for this. It had the whole wouldn't rub off, you could drink, you could eat, you could rub it with your hand or do whatever throughout the night and it won't smudge. So I really liked that as a concept. And then I noticed they have a ton more different colors and I was looking through all of them. But the one thing that I did notice on their Instagram page, and I will insert another clip right here, seem to be kind of out of focus so I don't know if they just did this to create the holographic effect or if it's just going to not be as glittery in real life either way I really wanted to purchase this product and put it to the test I also noticed that it was a type of lip gloss and glitter that you put on separately it's not all one product so I'm very curious to see if it's really sticky if it's really goopy if it gets that solid color that seems like in these pictures. So we are gonna put the product to the test. I have it in this very cute little baggie that they sent me. If you're interested to see how the Stay Golden Cosmetics Glitter Lip Kit performs throughout my day, keep watching the video. Okay, so I ordered this, like I said, from the Instagram page. I just brought me over to their main website, which they have a couple of other products I'm not really gonna get into in this video, but it was only $18, but the shipping was $4, so with tax, everything, it came to $22.74, which I don't think is that bad if it actually does what it claims to do. There are some higher-end licks Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, there are some higher end lipsticks that cost that much money and if this is a nice glitter lipstick that has all of that shine and shimmer and color payoff and it's not going to smudge or anything that I can wear going out or New Year's Eve parties or anything, I do not have any type of products like this so I'm willing to pay that amount to get something like this for my collection. So I purchased it on the 28th and it arrived the on the 1st of February. So the 28th of January and it arrived on the 1st of February, which if anyone has purchased something off of an ad that they see on Instagram, sometimes they might be a little hesitant on shipping times and things. It's not always the best way to find products. I've purchased other things and it has ended up not being exactly what I thought that it would be, or the shipping times ended up taking a while because it ended up shipping from China or from the UK or things like that, but it was super, super fast shipping. I was super surprised with how quickly it got here. It's in this really cute package. So uh, let's just get into this. Kiss proof, swim proof, turn up proof, cruelty free, nice. And the shade that I got is Glitz and it seems like it's going to be this pinky color. It says on the back, apply with ease, start with dry lips, apply the gloss balm to your parted lips one at a time. Once the gloss is clear, dampen the applicator and use it to pick up the glitter. Gently pat onto your lips and completely cover the gloss bond. Hopefully that's as easy as it sounds, we will see. Tips, line your lips for a flawless finish. I don't know if you're supposed to do that before or after. I suck with lip liner, so we will see 
I don't need to do that because I hate lip liner. Uh, to remove, use an oil-based makeup remover. And blah, 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 blah. Sounds good. Let's open this guy up. Oh no, I'm ripping the box. I'm mangling this box. Like, I can't get it open. Okay, so there's three things in here. You get the Glitter Lip Kit Gloss Bond in this black tube. You get a little applicator. One tip is a lip pencil and the other tip is a kind of um, sponge tip applicator. And then you have your glitter pot. All right, let's read this again. Start with dry lips. Apply gloss balm to your parted lips one lip at a time. So let me see what this looks like when I open it. Okay, so it's just a normal doe foot and the gloss bond is white, which it says once the gloss is clear, then you dampen the applicator and use it to pick up the glitter. So that makes sense that this is white. I am going to zoom you guys in. Hello, hello. And put this on my lips. Doesn't smell bad or anything. It's cold. Kind of feels like when it dries down like a glue like my lips feel really dry. I'm trying not to talk with them touching because it says apply to parted lips and this is really weird. <laughs> okay, so it's dry now. I'm gonna open this. I'm gonna get some of this on here. Ah, this is a mess. I just put it on my lips. Oh. I mean, it's making like a huge mess, but... Oh, this one's easier to use. <laughs> this is such a weird feeling. <laughs> And it definitely is messy too. Like you have to be careful with it. That's what I have so far. <laughs> Doesn't look like the picture because I'm so messy, but I'm just trying to get it like all on the glue and then I'm just gonna wipe away all the mess. <laughs> I think that basically what the gloss bond is, it's glue. It's gloss that turns into glue. Okay. This looks like a hot mess, so I'm gonna put the top back on. Now that there's glitter literally all over me. I'm gonna use like this little tip, I think, to just go over the edges and try to fix the craziness to like brush it off. Okay, that's a little bit better. Next step, gently pat your lips to cover the gloss bond. It does feel like it dried down, but I feel like there's still like glitter on me, but I can't tell if that's just the glitter that's now around my face or if it's the glitter that's on the lipstick. One thing's for sure is I would definitely do this almost like an eye makeup where you would do it before your foundation and stuff because that just kind of got all over me. It feels like I have glitter stuck to my, my lips. It doesn't feel like nothing. Uh, it's really pretty, like... It 
It's really pretty. It's just, I wish I could put something over it now, because it just feels like glitter. It's just me, but I don't really feel like this is going to last. I feel like it's going to fall off or get everywhere. So I'm definitely going to do check-ins. I'm definitely going to eat my lunch and drink water and see if it comes off anywhere and all that, because if it can't last throughout my day, I don't really know how it's going to last going out. So. I'll keep you guys posted, do some check-ins. I really like the color and it really is gorgeous, but their major claim is that it's turn up proof. So we'll just see on that and stay tuned for whatever is to come. Already I'm noticing that my application was so beyond perfect I missed a bunch of spots right there and I just licked my lips because they feel really dry and I feel like I just got a whole tongue of glitter. So I don't really know how this is not supposed to come off. I mean, when I do that, it doesn't come off. Like I'm rubbing and it doesn't come off, but still, I feel like it's just really uncomfortable. If it gets wet, I feel like it's going to come off, but we will see. We will see. All right. so big test coming up. I have made my lunch and it is Ooh, that was interesting. Tuna with some little tomato. I don't know why I couldn't remember that word. Tomato bites and I mean it's nothing too messy. I'm not gonna be oh my brother just came in. I'm not gonna be biting into anything so it's not like this is gonna get a chance to rub off or anything like that but I'm still gonna be eating. I have water here too so I'm gonna see if it comes off this stuff is just really uncomfortable is it in my teeth I don't really know but I'll do a check-in afterwards to see if this came off but that's how it's looking right now okay I just finished my lunch and as you can tell it definitely seems like the lip kit came off of my lips in the middle if I go like that, it definitely seems like it came off. If I'm just talking, it just wiped away, which it wasn't supposed to. And even if you look at my napkin, sorry, this is kind of gross, but if you look at my napkin when I wiped my lips, there's glitter on there. I was just going to take a sip of water and see if anything came off on the glass. Nothing's really on the glass but I just feel like there are little bits of glitters that are kind of getting all over the place. I feel like when I was eating, there was kind of some glitter that was getting into my food, which was really gross. It's just not a comfortable thing to wear. It's very drying. I feel like I have tons of glitter just stuck to my lips, which is basically what it is. I wish there was a product that you could cover it so it wouldn't feel like just straight glitter that's on top of your lips. So I'm going to keep wearing it for you guys, but it's just so, so, so uncomfortable. Okay, so I've had the glitter lip kit on my lips for six hours and I have to take it off. It is so unbearably uncomfortable. It doesn't look too bad. It definitely is wearing off. You can see cracks. It doesn't really show on camera, but you can see cracks. It's coming off on some places. It's just kind of <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, it's peeling off right there and right there. It's wearing. Uh, it literally feels like there's sandpaper on my lips. And if I talk or do anything, I feel like there's just glitter that's getting all over. And it's just a really uncomfortable feeling. So I need to take it off. I am, however, going to test because they said that it was swim proof. Why anyone would want to swim in this, I am not sure. But I'm just going to wet finger and rub it on my lips to see if any of this will come off with plain water. So yeah, some of it is coming off. I think I would wear this maybe for a really special occasion one night out when I was just really wanted to go hardcore, maybe at New Year's Eve or something, but that's about it. I would definitely wear a moisturizing uh, lipstick underneath just to 
get rid of any patchiness that this creates and to make it feel a lot more moisturizing than it is but I'm not even sure how well the lip gloss adhesive would go on over top of that so that's something I would have to test out as well but I am going to attempt to get it off with my Neutrogena makeup wipes okay Neutrogena makeup wipe oh if you can hear this sound like It just sounds awful. Pretty easy to come off. It's just rubbing right off. So I feel like there's still gonna be tons of glitter left on me just because glitter is one of those things that's really hard to get off. Once you enter glitter into your life, it doesn't really tend to leave. But yeah, not really that difficult to take off. <laughs> look how funny I look with one lip. It would be a lot better if it had something to go over top of it just so you can't feel the actual little glitters and make it so much more comfortable, so much more wearable, but it's not horrible. It's really pretty. Uh, it's just the comfortability is not there, so I'll leave it up to your discretion if you want to purchase it, but as always, it will be linked down below. I love you guys. Thanks for watching the video and see you next time.